Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do this in Logic. So basically, what you do is go to Instrument, and we want to make sure that it's multi-temporal. In this instance, I guess I'll do three, but you could do up to sixteen, because that's the maximum. And I'm just thinking about it, like, man. Um, I think I know how to do this. So, what you're gonna do for the first track, you're gonna pull up instrument. In this example, I'm gonna use my my machine and use the multi out feature. And what I'm trying to do is map out each drum to each channel. So I'm just going to randomly select a sound from my machine here. And let's say we go. Go for a clap on pad two. And then pad one. And then for pad three. Okay. Now, as you can see, everything is triggering all three of these here. That's because nothing was routed. So let's. So inside the machine, I have it at four bars, and I'm just gonna loop Logic at four bars as well. Now inside the machine, I wanna click up here and make sure I'm on sounds. For my kick, I wanna be selected on EXT1 or external out one and this is external two and this is three so as you can see down at the bottom control over so this is my kick right here that's my claps that's my hats and I can pan them have I need to And this means that I can put any type of plugins on it, however I need to. Now, when you get ready, say you want to record the audio. And this is just one way to do it. There's there's other ways you can, you know, do these type of things, but this is one way that I know 
that will work if you choose to do it like this so you got to pull up three audio tracks for the sake of this video because I'm just doing three and I want the inputs to be one two and three all right so these inputs on this audio channels would be one two and three and I'm gonna arm them all and for these we're gonna make the outputs one two and three so we're coming out of these channels here into these audio channel channels right here so I'll just label it that's gonna be kick that's gonna be snare and that's hats all right so now we can record. All right, so now I'm gonna mute this. Let's mute this too, just to show you that, that, that that's muted. As a matter of fact, let's delete it. Just to show you that there is nothing but audio left. Okay. Now that's just one way of doing it and I hope that you hope that you were were, uh, were able to catch everything if not then you know you can always rewind this video and go back to the top but that's one way of working with multi outputs inside of Logic Pro X thanks for watching